Let's look at an employment policy. Employment policies are normally broken down into many different areas, focusing on hiring practices, termination practices, and then the day-to-day -day operation. There are so many issues related to employment, and in fact, many corporations, many organizations look at their employees as being their most valuable assets, and perhaps the one asset where they spend more money than any other area. So you would expect to see a lot of stipulations and a lot of policies put into an employment policy. So let's take a look at hiring practices first. Some of the things that we may want to put into our policy is a mandatory background check. Again, different organizations have different requirements, but you may want to state in your policy, we must execute a background check on all of our employment candidates. Now, how this background check occurs, again, we're going to be looking at guidelines and then procedures for exactly how we execute a particular background check. Likewise, what about drug testing? Do we want to put that into our policy? Probably so if it supports our philosophy behind hiring. Another thing we may want to address is security clearance. Now, this is mostly going to affect government organizations or organizations that work with the government and have a requirement for security clearance. Again, this is a regulatory policy. If doing business with a particular government agency requires you have security cleared personnel, then again, you put that in your security policy, and that satisfies the regulatory requirement. Non-disclosure agreements or other agreements. It is becoming more and more common for employees to be required to sign various agreements before they're offered employment with any particular organization. Non-disclosure is one of those types of agreements. Non-disclosure agreements are often used not only for employees, but also for contractors, or in many cases, closely held customers. The non-disclosure agreement basically states that any information that you glean from this relationship, you agree to keep confidential, or you agree to maintain the same security label on the information you've gleaned that the organization that owns the information puts on that information. In other words, you're not going to divulge something you're not supposed to divulge. 